Police are still on the scene of Dell's Maraschino Cherry Factory, where the owner took his own life. Investigators say he shot himself after agents uncovered what appears to have been a drug operation. Live at noon, CBS News' Janelle Burrell has more from Red Hook. Janelle. Well, Mary, we've been watching investigators come in and out of this door all day. We're told that they have been working throughout the night because the scope of this operation was huge. So far, they have uncovered cash, cars, and a large stash of marijuana. Crime scene investigators in and out of Dell's Maraschino Cherries factory today, carting evidence. The empty jars used to package the treats, untouched on the assembly line, masking the massive illegal drug operation investigators say the company's owner had been hiding. I was shocked. I mean, I was just shocked, you know. I mean, it's, uh, it's a shame. Pat, who knew Dell's owner, Arthur Mandela, among many in this Red Hook neighborhood, left stunned. Mandela dead from a self-inflicted gunshot, and now sources say behind his family's popular 67-year-old cherry business, they're still uncovering what appears to have been a marijuana growing and distribution operation. Detectives finding hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash stashed in suitcases, and behind a makeshift wall in Mandela's office, roughly 100 pounds of marijuana, as well as luxury cars all hidden within the property on Dykeman Street. Shocking, surprising, you know, didn't expect it. The raid began with a sting by state and city agents Tuesday sweeping the building to see if Dells had been illegally dumping hazardous materials. During the search, detectives smelled marijuana, and when they questioned Mandela about it, sources say he told his sister, who was there, take care of my kids, before he excused himself and went into a bathroom, where police say he put a gun to his head and pulled the trigger. Maybe he was embarrassed. Right. I, that's what I could think. I mean, that's the only thing I could think of. The business for now shut down, forcing this trucker who drove all the way from Indianapolis to pick up a shipment to head back home. They cancel my load. I'm going back now. Even Mandela's ex-wife turned away from what now has become a crime scene. Everybody loved him in the, in the neighborhood. Everybody loved him. He was a good guy. Yeah, and this is one of the most famous cherry companies, supplying companies like TGI Fridays and Red Lobster. All of that on hold as this investigation continues. We're live this afternoon in Red Hook, Brooklyn. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News. Janelle, thank you.